Hey, let's get into the video. A lot of you guys have asked me to do this video and I've just been doing a lot of stuff and I've been postponing it, but I'm here now and let's do it. Um, by the title, you already know what I'm talking about. We were trying to have our baby and it took us. We start trying in uh, January 2019 and we got pregnant um, on January 2020 so it took us a long time to get pregnant it was very stressful and i'm pretty sure if you guys are trying or going through the same thing that we did it's very 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 stressful so let's talk about it i always try to google i was watching videos i was doing whatever it took to know what to do in order to get pregnant uh, first thing i went to my doctor and obviously they tell you it would take about a year to get pregnant before i got pregnant i was um before i started to conceive i was um in birth control and i was having the iu iud so i had it for three years and then i took it out and then we started trying so um the doctor told me, you know, it's going to take a year, but I'm like, oh no, I'm just going to have it, you know, like next month. <laughs> so, uh, I um, stopped birth control and then I tried the first month and I was so excited. I'm like, the next month I got my period and I'm like, oh, well, you know, it's one month. And then January came and then March I got my period and I'm like, okay what's going on so that's when i started worrying after three months after four months i was just like something's wrong um and then i actually called the doctor um and then she was like no you know it takes about six months to 12 months in order for a couple to get pregnant and i'm like can we do something about it can you check me down there i like, just want to know she's like no we have to wait a year I'm like, damn it. So, okay. And because she knew I had birth control, so I couldn't lie, you know, like, I've been trying for a year. Like, she knew my history. So, after that, I was very, very disappointed. It got to the point that we were trying, and I was just, it wasn't fun anymore. You know what I mean? Baby dancing was not fun. It felt like a job. I bought the strips in Amazon. That's one of the things that we did. Uh, for a couple months and i'm going to tell you the things that we bought the things we try and the things that i think work the last month i got pregnant that month that i got pregnant so one of the things that i bought and i think everybody that is trying to conceive should have first of all you need to know when you're ovulating so it's very important because then you're just having sex oops i say the word <laughs> anyhow like if you're watching this video i'm pretty sure you're older than 19 and you're trying to have a baby so we all know that word the strips that i bought i bought it from amazon and i am going to link everything down below in the description box but these are the ones that i was using it is called easy at home and um i really love this one and the thing that I like about this one that it has an app that you can download in your phone and instead of just looking at the strip and knowing like if you're ovulating or not just by the color of it you actually can put take the picture on that app and then upload it to your phone and it literally tells you yes you are ovulating or you almost there like it literally tells you by the picture you see your phone there there's the phone so so you can use that app which is amazing in my opinion so i wasn't guessing you know that's something that you literally need to have if you try to conceive because that that way you know when your ovulation days or if you even ovulating because some people don't ovulate by themselves and then you have to you know tell your doctor and go in a different route but me i was literally ovulating on time like after 15 17 days after my period i was ovulating so that's how i knew i was um ovulating by my own that's one of the things that i had um when we were trying 
um, the second thing that I'm talking about right now um, try to get in a prenatal vitamin uh, just tell your doctor I know that the prenatal vitamins that they sell at um, grocery stores, CVS or anywhere, Amazon they are huge and then they can taste very very gross but in my case I um, told my doctor and then she prescribed me it's called Pixar and then I can put a picture over here or over here um, so you can guys uh, look at it and then you can ask your doctor to prescribe you that one I love it because it is a great uh, it's a fruit flavor and it's very very tiny because I'm very bad with like big pills so prenatal vitamin um, you can also I when I, before I got into my prenatal prescription I went in um, Amazon and bought me the fertility productive uh, support pills these are all the things that I think it didn't work for me so but this is how it looks and again I'm going to be uh, putting the link in the description box so you can uh, read about it and see if you want to buy it I don't think that actually worked for me um, or maybe it didn't but I, I just don't think it did at all uh, I also bought this other pill that I found which is this one over here is uh, the name is conception and and for this pill um, there is for men and there is for girls so I bought my husband and I bought my this is the one that I bought for my husband also you guys if you are if you are dry down there so I'll definitely recommend uh, some lubrication so the one I bought it was in Amazon and I bought this one right could help some of you guys uh, I don't think it really helped for me especially that month I don't think I try that that month because I never I was never a person that needs lubrication so maybe for some of you you know you need it so because that way the sperm goes faster to you into you <laughs> so yeah for me I don't think it helped me but if you guys need it that's a really good one I did try it again I don't I didn't try it that month that I got pregnant but I did try it and it is very good so if you guys want to try that one for yourself um, well, besides all the things that I was buying and drinking and all the things that didn't work, let's talk about the things that I think it works for me that month I got pregnant. So like I was saying, I was coming up into month number 12, which I told the doctor, I called her and I was like, hey, it's been a year, I'm not pregnant, let's move forward. She was like, okay, come in, we make an appointment. And then I got this test done. Doctor was like, okay, we can start getting tests for you and then your husband. So I went in and I asked to have done the HSG test. So if you guys are almost in that one a year mark, you probably already know about this and your doctor already talked to you about this. Um, so it's called HSG test. Um, uh, I um, got an appointment to go and get it done. So my husband has his appointment to get his sperm check, but he actually never did because then we find out I was pregnant. But um, that month I went for my for that exam, and I'm gonna tell you guys I have a video about that exam on my uh, on my channel, and I can link it down below as well. Um, you should definitely watch that if you are getting that test done or if you're asking your doctor to get it done I went that month and I was like okay finally I'm going to know if I can get pregnant or not or if I have something in there that and that's the reason that that's the reason why I cannot get pregnant so I went for the test I got it done and I was relieved that I can nothing was wrong with me so then my husband was very worried because then if nothing's wrong with me that means something's wrong with him or something so 
for me i was so stressed about it and like when i knew that i was fine like my stress relief was like this <laughs> i think that's one of the things that helped me get pregnant that month that i wasn't thinking out that it was me that i knew i could get pregnant so my stress levels like went literally down and i was just happier about it I was also concerned because of my husband but I was happy and then I knew that I could get pregnant so then um, I think that test also helps you clean you up because they put some stuff on you and then they uh, wash you off and I think now my uterus and my my tubes were clean you know so the little sperms will go and go and find its way around that's one of the things I feel like helped me that month uh, my stress levels were down and I got that test done the second thing I think it really really helped me like I say every month I was putting my legs up but it still wasn't getting pregnant so I talked to a friend that uh, was trying to conceive and then she got pregnant after a couple months and then she said that that month what she did is putting her head down and I was like what do you mean head down it's your legs up so after baby dancing what uh, me and my husband did that month um, we literally did what she said so I put my hands on the floor and then he helped me lift my legs up and I just stayed there for until I could because it's just very hard for me I am not that flexible to do those things so I put I put myself in that position and that month that we got pregnant like twice um and again we were having uh sex the dates that i was ovulating so i did um i was ovulating this day so i did the day before the day of ovulation and the day after and that's it that we didn't do it anymore um which before previous months i was doing it like every day and i think that that it's also not a good thing because they said that the sperm has to be in his body for a while to be concentrated to be good enough i don't know something like that so we did that the third thing that we did that i think it also really helped me was um trying this powder called maca so this is the powder i was using so if you google this um, maca powder and it has to be the raw organic black maca powder and if you google this um like it has so many benefits for you so definitely even if you're not trying to conceive like i think it's a really good powder to be drinking the other thing that i think it really help us like even like that sex drive by like it make you very horny i think in my case and in my husband's case i totally saw a difference so my mom lived with us and then she saw it in the kitchen and she's like uh why are you drinking this are you trying to have sex i'm like like a lot of sex i'm like no i'm just trying to get pregnant and they said that this helps with fertility um and then she's like well because i she sells shakes um that's her job uh herbalife and then she said that a lot of her customers like men bring this powder for her to put in the shake and that helps them you know like be horny and stuff like that so i'm like oh my gosh like i didn't know i just bought it because it says it's good for fertility and that a lot of women um back in the day that they, they used to drink that and then a lot of women were very very fertile due to the uh, maca powder so but then definitely i saw when she told me that i saw it different on myself and then my husband when we were drinking that uh, powder so i would usually do a shake and then put um, some powder on the shake my husband did the same thing uh besides the maca powder uh powder uh, my husband bought the pills like the maca pills so that's something in addition i think it actually worked um, you can buy that in Amazon. I can link it down below if I if I find them. And besides that, and the last thing I think it very it was very helpful that after baby dancing, there is these things that you buy 
um, for your period and you don't have to use a pad is this little things so these little things you insert it in your vagina and then like if you have your period and it just stays there my purpose for this um, was to put it in after having sex and so the sperm wouldn't come out right away because if you notice if you're trying to conceive you want all that thing to stay on you for a while and it's very frustrating when like after baby dancing and then all of a sudden like everything comes out and i'm like did something stay in or something so <laughs> that's something i noticed and i'm like oh my gosh like nothing staying in like that's why i'm not getting pregnant so i bought this little cups things and i think they actually helped um we did this that month that we got pregnant it could be all of those things that i just say that helped me that month um i definitely think that the hsg test definitely helped me um putting my head down and my legs up buying the maca powder um, and again it has to be the raw organic black maca powder uh, for me and my husband of course and then the pills for my husband and then that little cup that i show you guys this one right here oh my god i'm so sorry guys i forgot one more thing and it is very important it is mucinex and actually i make this video because a lot of people were commenting in that one video and i don't know how could i forget about this thank you so much olga actually she's the one that commented on my video she's like so mucinex mucinex is not one of them i'm like yes it is number six this is actually that i think how to do a lot the month that i got pregnant so you guys let me show you i took this five days um before my ovulation day those are very big so i struggle a lot so if you see that video i was struggling to take this pill because i am not a pill person and it is a thousand two hundred milligrams so i only took one um a day people buy the one that is less stronger but in my case i bought the one that is strong just one and uh, ju well the ones that you get just read the instructions and follow them okay but i got the one for a thousand two hundred milligrams so i only took one a day and oh my god i think this very this is very helpful in my opinion because it says uh relieve chest congestion i did not use it for that you guys <laughs> you know that thin and loosens mucus so you know you have mucus down there so that will help you if it loosens up mucus here it loosens mucus down there in my case i think it really helped me i think uh, my mucus is very very thick and this actually helped me with that this has a lot to do with me getting pregnant that month but if you can get into this I think this is something very good and I hope it works for you because I think it works for me. Because everything else I tried the last couple months like those fertility pills that I bought in Amazon and putting my legs up, I don't think it helped me. But I think going all the way down with your head and you you know like in that degree like vertical degree, that's very helpful because everything goes down so even if maybe my husband's sperms were like slow i think that like help it go down really really fast i thinking i have no idea because he never got tested because that month he was gonna get tested i got pregnant so look at him he didn't have to do go through that that's um the things that i did and if you want to get some of the stuff i talk about in this video again check the box down below and i wish you the best in the world for you to have your baby and a baby does for all of you guys like for all of you i wish you luck and again everybody says when they're pregnant you know already have their babies do not stress about it like don't think about it i know when they used to tell me that i'd be like are you 
like how can you not get stressed about it how can you not think about it you have to think about it because you're trying to do it on the days that you're fertile i mean you have to think about it that's something that you cannot stop doing like thinking about it and stressing about it but do as much as you can for it not to be too stressful uh you know have a massage um have a bath something that helps the stress I'll try yoga you know you know everybody's gonna stress about it but the less you do it will be better because that month i got pregnant i was thinking about other things um, besides getting pregnant like my job like all of these other stuff that my 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 head was in another space and not in like baby trying you know so i think that really helped me not be too stressful about me getting pregnant and i did it you know i wish you the best luck i hope you guys like this video and if you have any other questions if i didn't cover something that i'm forgetting or that you might want to hear in this video just let me know and then i can make another one and i hope you like this video and i see you in another video bye bye